There was a man in South India who wanted to pursue spiritual path. In India, pursuing spiritual path means it's an age-old habit. First thing is they will go off into the forest looking for a cave to sit and meditate. So the man went off into the jungle, but of course you position yourself close to your village because you need food. So he sat there and warm started mantra. Whenever he got hungry, he came to the village, begged some food, went back. And as night fell, he noticed there was a fox. Both his front legs were severed in some trap or something, it's gone. But still he is well fed and healthy. Nature is not kind to any kind of incapability. If you lose your legs, you lose your life. But this fox has lost its legs but well fed and healthy. He was surprised. But then he ignored and focused on his meditation. As night fell, he heard the roar of a lion, the growls of a lion coming. He forgot about his meditation and climbed the tree. He sat there and to his amazement, the lion, a full grown male lion, came with a, a piece of meat and brought it and dropped it in front of the fox and went away. The fox had his dinner, he couldn't believe this. A crippled fox is being fed by a ferocious lion. Hallelujah! This is a miracle. This is a message from the divine. What is it? What is it? What is it? And he was wondering, wondering, wondering. Next day evening again the lion came with a piece of meat, dropped it in front of the fox and went away. Now he thought, for sure this is God is sending a message to me. What is it? Then he interpreted it in his own way. He said, even a crippled fox in this forest is being fed by a lion. You fool, what are you going looking for food for? Just sit here, it'll come and fall in your mouth. So he simply sat. One day, two days, three days, meditation became like this, fourth day like this. By seventh day, he was groaning between life and death. Another yogi was passing this way, he heard these sounds of a man dying. He came down and he asked, what happened to you? Why are you in this condition? He said, oh yogi, please tell me, a divine message came to me. I went by the message and I became like this. The yogi asked, what happened? He said, see, look there, there's a crippled fox. Every day that fox is being fed by a ferocious lion. Is this not God's message to me? Is this not a divine message? The yogi looked at him and said, definitely this is a divine message. But why is it that you chose to be like a crippled fox and not like a generous lion? So this is a choice that you have. Every moment of your life, whatever the nature of the situations that you fear face, are you a generous lion or are you a crippled fox constantly calculating how to get something out of something? That makes the difference. That makes who you are. You do not become who you are because of what you eat. You become who you are because of what you do, what you feel, what you think and how you are within yourself, isn't it?